Hello travelers, I'm Santi and I'm Bernard. I'm Carla. We, We are, are from Bali, Bali Indonesia. Indonesia. Pleased to meet you again. We will deliver to you the words of God on Wednesday. Stay blessed, holy inside, happy outside. Let's prepare and open our heart for the words of God. May God always be with you. Dear brothers and sisters, Welcome to We Read Traveling with Jesus channel, a channel of holy gospel readings available in three languages, Indonesia, English, and Italian. Now you can access the reading in Indonesia and English separately every day and the readings in Italian available only on Sunday. We hope you enjoy it. St. Peter Chanel Story Anyone who has worked in loneliness with great adaptation required with little apparent success will find a kindred spirit in Peter Chanel. Born in France, Peter's interest in the missions began in school when he read letters missionaries to America sent back home. As a young priest, Peter revived a parish in a bad district by a simple method of showing great devotion to the sick. Wanting to be a missionary, he joined the Society of Mary, the Marists, at 28. Obediently, he taught in the seminary for five years. Then, as superior of seven Marists, he traveled to Western Oceania. The bishop accompanying the missionaries left Peter and a brother on Futuna Island, northeast of Fiji, promising to return in six months. He was gone five years. Meanwhile, Peter struggled with this new language and mastered it, making the difficult adjustment to live with whalers, traders, and warring natives. Despite little apparent success and severe want, he maintained a serene and gentle spirit plus endless patience and courage. A few natives has been baptized, a few more were being instructed. When the chieftain's son asked to be baptized, persecution by the chieftain reached a climax. Father Chanel was clubbed to that. Within two years after his death, the whole island became Catholic and has remained so. He was canonized by Pope Pius XII in 1954. Peter Chanel is the first martyr of Oceania and its patron. Reflection Suffering for Christ means suffering because we are like Christ. Very often, the opposition we meet is the result of our own selfishness or imprudence. We are not martyrs because we are persecuted by those who merely treat us as we treat them. A Christian martyr is one who, like Christ, is simply a witness to God's love and brings out of human hearts the good or evil that is already there. Saint Peter Chanel is the patron saint of Oceania. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, 
I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, console me, tell me what I should do. Give me your orders. I submit my share to all that you desire of me and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. Amen. The Word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in church at Antioch's prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lysias of Cyrene, Manaean, who was a close friend of Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart from me Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. Alleluia. May God have pity on us and bless us. May He let His face shining upon us. So may Your way be known upon earth, among all nations, Your salvation. O oh God, let all the nations praise You. Alleluia. May the nations be glad and exalt, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. Alleluia. May the peoples praise you, O oh God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear Him. O oh God, let all the nations praise You. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of of the world, said the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me, believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words, and does not observe them. I do not 
condemn him. For I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him. The word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day. Because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that His commandments is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. Made through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross and the prayers of Our Lady, we will all be freed from the curse, filled with joy, love, and receive the blessings of Abraham, which God blessed in all things. Exaltation, health, the ability to endure suffering and still bear fruit, prosperity, victory, humility, and favor of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Dear brothers and sisters, those are the readings for today. We hope you enjoy it and see you again tomorrow from We Traveling with Jesus. Goodbye.